Hi, welcome to Blossom Your Creativity. My name is Debbie, and I'm so happy you stopped by for a visit. On this channel, I do DIYs and some faux foods. If this is your kind of jam, you're in the right place so we can be creative together. Now, if you like what I'm doing, please leave me a thumbs up, comment, and share. And if you haven't already subscribed, what are you waiting for? It's free. Simply hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified for new videos. So let's get started and craft away. Today is challenge day and I am participating in a thrift flip road trip. We'll talk more about it in the video. DIY number one. So I went to my local thrift store and I found this really pretty frame. I love the scroll work. It looks like two hearts. And I paid $1.98 for this. So my plan for this is to paint, um, give it a coat of the white chalk paint and then this barely pink. I think that's a really pretty color. Then I'm gonna use one of these stickers that's from the Dollar Tree and this sign or this word dream and that comes from Hobby Lobby and then I also got this packet of papers and I'm gonna choose one of these um, to use as my background I really like purple and I decided yeah I like that one too but I think I'm gonna go with just a plain purple sheet So as I was taking the frame apart, I noticed that the glass had these little um, plastic feet, I guess. Uh, they cover the corners just to make sure that the current corners are protected so that the glass doesn't break. So I give that a, put it to the side and I'll give it a good um, cleaning. Now I'm going to go ahead and start my painting and again I'm going to use um, a coat of the chalk paint. I start off with that brush but uh, off camera I use a smaller brush to get into the little crevices um, that this bigger brush couldn't get into. Now I didn't like brush strokes so I eventually went back through and did like a tapping um, motion. Tapping? Uh, blotting motion um, so that you would not be able to see the brush strokes. Now that the white layer is dry, now I'm going to go in with the Barely Pink and in that blotting motion, I'm just going to go ahead and add a layer of this pink. I believe I did two layers only because there was some black still showing through um, from that original metal. Why that's off to dry, I'll go ahead and work on the insert. So I'm just taking the cardboard that was in the frame and tracing it with this paper that I'm going to be using. I really like the um, purple tone. Now I'm just um, verifying that it's going to sit right and I'm going to use the hot air balloon um, with the flower. I really think that that's pretty and it goes with the same dream. Um, you want to dream that you're flying by and forgetting all your troubles. And once I get that cut out, I will um, go ahead and just line it up just to make sure that it's where I want. Now I just um, measured around the edge so that I can add this pretty ribbon that comes from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to simply cut um, the pieces and then lay them in there. I'm going to cut at an angle so that my corners um, are matching up correctly.
once I have all my pieces cut, now I'm going to um, attach it to the paper and I'm going to just use some tacky glue and I'm just putting um, a small amount and then I'll just place the ribbon there and adhere it and then um, we'll move on to the next step. Now I'm ready to add my hot air balloon and I'm just checking to make sure I have the right angle and I'm just putting um, just a little bit of that tacky glue that I still had left over on my paint brush. It is a sticker so I wasn't too worried about having too much of the tacky glue on there. Now I was trying to see if I could raise it up a little bit but I wasn't able to. So now I have the little dream sign and um, I want to change the color. I don't want it to be that raw wood look. So I'm putting a coat of the antique wax, not antique wax, the <laughs> white Adirondack and I'm just painting that up. I left it on the little um, plastic so I wouldn't get my hands dirty. And then I found this ribbon and I got it at the thrift store as well. I always look for ribbons because I can get a really good deal. I have no idea where this came from, um, but it's an eighth of an inch, so I just made a little finger bow, and then I'm just gonna add that to the top of the um, backdrop. Now, um, I wanted to put something in the middle of the bow, and I'm just gonna trim that out down. So I have these little gems, I'm not sure where they came from, but I chose the pink little stone and I'm just going to put it right here in the middle and then I can attach that to my backdrop. So as crafters we know we save little bits and pieces of things and this happens to be one of those little foam pieces to raise up your um, designs and so I kept it and now I'm going to add it to the stickers so that a little raised up off of the paper so it gives it more of a three-dimensional look. Now I'm going to just go ahead and add my bow and I will hot glue the little flower stickers on and then we should be able to put this in the frame. Here I'm just taking a quick little peek just to make sure it's lined up where I want it. Now I decided I wanted to put some flowers at the bottom and their color is coordinating with what's inside the frame. So I just was uh, making sure I had it lined up where I wanted it and now I'm just going to put a little bead of hot glue and then just press down on those flowers. Now I have no idea where these flowers came from, they were in my stash and I shop all over the place so I couldn't tell you where I got them from but I thought it needed a little something um, down in the bottom but I didn't want to cover the scroll work up completely so I'm just trying my best to add these flowers without um, taking away from the scroll work. All 
All right, and then on the top, I felt like it just needed a little bit of greenery. So I had uh, this flower, I had these flowers, um, and I just pulled a couple of stems off of them. Uh, again, I have no idea where these flowers came from, but um, I'm just putting two pieces of greenery, and then I have two little pink buds, and I'll put those in the middle, and I think that that helped um, the, the top out a little bit. I, again, I didn't want to cover the scroll work and my little hearts. Um, I love it. I hope you guys like it. And you'll see this in the final reveal. So now let's talk about the challenge. It's called the Thrift Flip road trip and our host are the crafting cousins it's Kay and Trish and Sammy from Unicorn Dust Designs is the co-host for today all three of these ladies have awesome content so make sure you go check out their page along with the playlist I have lo listed them in my description box so now let's get on with DIY number two Okay, on another trip to my thrift store, I found this clock. It was $6.98. I really liked the look of it. It has a little um, secret opening in the back. I guess you could hide something, but I don't know how it would stick. <laughs> but it was a little banged up, as you can see. Um, I had to try to um, make that go back into, well, somewhat go back into shape so that I can open and close it easier. And then the top part, um, it looks like somebody dropped it, to be honest. Um, so the clock wasn't working. Um, we did fix that off camera. My husband helped me with that. Um, but the little finial on top, it looks like it got bent. So here I am just trying to straighten it out. And I'm going to use that paper towel just to protect the metal. Um, but I did notice some of it, uh, some of the paint cracked off. But that's okay, because I'm going to change that. Now I'm going to use these Dollar Tree Verbon transfers. Um, I only found one that I um, liked that would fit in that little area. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut that out and then we're going to apply it um, to the clock. Um, and now I did want to mention that um, I'm cutting this out because in the past I've tried to apply um, the rub -ons, um, leaving everything intact and I accidentally, um, you know, transfer the wrong thing. So I went to trans put this on the clock and I noticed I, I didn't like the color. So off camera, I decided to try and paint, um, just to see if that would help. And I think I like that a lot better. So I used the, um, white Waverly chalk paint. I did a coat of that. And then I used this pale pink, um, over that and um, to avoid brush strokes I just simply tapped um, the paint on stippled it on I guess that's what you call it and um, I do like how it, it came out it looks a lot better um, so then I just did a light brushing on the top finial part and at the bottom I'm going to do the same I don't want to cover it completely. I want some of the metal to still be showing through. Um, and there I am just doing the finial. And I'll also do the base and the feet. Now I'm ready to apply my stent brabon transfer 
paint is completely dry and so I'm just going to apply it to where I want. Um, once I lay it down and wasn't sure because I had taken the clock face out, so what I'm going to do is once I position it where I think it should go, I'm going to put the clock face there just to see and I can see that I want to position it just slightly lower. Now that I have it where I want, I started to use my fingernail and then I realized I'm going to need something else. Um, so I just used a craft stick um, just to help me release the transfer onto the clock. And as I'm doing this, I'm just making sure that I'm hitting all of the areas. Um, sometimes when we pick up the um, transfer tape I'm not sure what you call it um, some of it will still be on there so I'm just making sure that I go over all the areas and then I will slowly remove that um, backing tape uh, just to make sure that there was no pieces left on it and then um, you'll see that I did find a part and I had to redo it again but it's okay it worked out Once I removed the backing, I just went over the um, applique with backing just to make sure that it was all on there good. I don't want to put any kind of um, Mod Podge because I don't want it to be glossy. I want it to have that matte look. And I just put the clock face back in and it's done. I love it. I hope you guys think the same and you'll see it in the final reveal.